it's week 15 of the NFL. And up next, we're going to look at Patrick Mahomes. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Browns and the Bears, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. On the dog mound will be Barkin. As EA Sports is pleased to join you from the always raucous Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Chicago Bears taking on the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in right high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they come in mired in a brutal stretch right now. Losers of eight straight games. Went to the finish, and we are underway here in week 15. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by someone who needs less introduction than any player in the league. A Super Bowl champion, the league's most valuable player for a second time, Patrick Mahomes. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. I think even they will tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play, second down. And now as we get toward the home stretch here in the regular season, Charles, let's take a look at the list of key and actives for them in this one. Yeah, and after almost a full season of physical games, you know you got some guys missing during the final weeks of the season. Nature not going to play this sport. Every team, you got to be prepared to handle them. Teams are going to focus on that winning. Focus on guys getting ready to play, even if they're not starters. Those are the guys that are going to score. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. It's held on by Brandon Cooks. And he'll go out near midfield. 49. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. And even though this is a top five rushing offense, and we see this especially early in the game, they're going to do their best to keep you honest. They don't want you getting the habit of stacking the box, so that's a good throw there. And they're able to come up with the first down. Dances by him. And he's able to get this one down to the three. Last week, he told us that he's being a little ambitious, said he wants to get that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. The ball on the 32. It's second and two. Carry for the Oklahoma State man, Chuba Hubbard. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third of the yard. Working from the gun. Mahomes working in the middle of the field. He's got a man to play. And he's going to have a Browns first down and comfortably so as it gets five down on third of the yard. The Browns at nine and four now on the year. They've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They've got a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. Second down and four. some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play. 
and get my defense off the field. situations get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partner so if you can get past that first wave it's usually room to roll and he found it Lutz with the extra point and it's now a seven nothing game so that was a pretty time consuming 10 play drive and it was capped off by the chase Edmonds touchdown run after the touchdown Lutz to kick it off And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a little rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. And no excitement unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. And yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So... I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals for him, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get on him? And he finds Tolbert. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They're down third and a yard. down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. But they kept it simple there. CD only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all. Probably to check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. The numbers for him from a week ago. 16 carries, 75 yards. And those numbers have both he and his blockers motivated this week. They saw that yardage total climbing. The stop short and one Every one of them have to be driven this week to help them reach the century mark. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And then it's going to set up a third and one. So you just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to pick this up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there, stopping it for a loss. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And he didn't quite have the bank spin on that when it hits at the four. and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Browns offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And the current playoff picture, and you can see they are one of those three wild card teams, at least for the moment, but they have not clinched that spot, Charles. And look, their message has been clear. They're keeping their foot on the gas to the very end. And they got the third of the trial, but it's a ball ball. The best part, we got the first seat to it. I think this is obvious of the ultimate goal when they had a second seat to the ball back in 2020. More drop, more teams in it late in the season, and more importance on games like this. He's going to have a his first down as he's got this up to about the 34 yard line. His first carry, their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back in their first drive, running strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but I've got his vision to find the holes. He's seeing things before they even open in order to look to him. So after the loss of a yard, they get to push forward here on second down and 11. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. He's got Smith here. It's not for about the game there in second down. That was a positive play because that's a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now there's a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Oh, it was caught. And he was going to have the Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But as a coach, you always have to say, well, that's fine, but nothing more than that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect to for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. They'll run on first down. Edmonds take 47 yards. You look at this Bears defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack number 14 in the NFL. Yeah, this has been a good defense, but they've got to really prove it in this one because guess what? They're facing the number one passing offense in the NFL. Step right through the deck for them. They're going to have four here. Down to the 43 yard line. This will be the eighth play in the drive here. Third and four. Now Mahomes. He has got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 32 yard line. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. Penning, a first down carry. And he's going to take this up on for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Mahomes going to throw. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Mahomes now the throw. And the third and the open man. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to get him third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw. He was here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really throwing the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. And they'll turn a power game to try to get in. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Now here's Mahomes. Pass to the pylon and incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Mahomes throwing on fourth. That's going to be caught for the last touchdown. Six points. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, first to pound to get the ball back. And they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing it off the ball. After the touchdown, wants to kick it off. On the return, here's Dallas Flowers. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 20 goal. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future as they start to peer toward the offseason. What moves might they make? I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. But the teams are going the ball effectively. They're the ones that go deep into the play. 
Browns to go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a water early. But there's that special one there. I say they go get him. Well, they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Throwing here, Dobbs. This is White on the screen. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That'll give him eight that time. And now one yard to go on third down. They'll run the chestnut. Take it down, but not before they work it across midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. <laughs> And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and get that free yardage. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They give to White on the option. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got some time players coming out with an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. There's Dobbs to throw. And connecting here with DJ Sharp. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 29-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. On first and 10, Downs. On the left side, it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big hitter there, this one good for 18. Now first and 10 at the 11. In motion, that's Tolbert. First down, here's White. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. Fighting for the end zone, he lost the football, and it's out. That is is picked up by the Browns. So holding on the offense, they go ahead and decline the penalty, and the ball will change hands on the fumble recovery. Back near his goal line, here's Mahomes. Short throw to Smith. That's good for a of six. And it'll be second down. I'm going to have to have to call to him, but I don't think he's going to want to take a play. That's his quick catch. And they've really been targeting the tight end. On second down, here's Penny. And they'll get him down past the 15-yard line. 48 yards on the ground for a man with nine carries. Burgers being potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him. And let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Second and ten. Inside handoff, Penny. And a stiff arm made it a pretty little run, not a huge gain. A nice chunk of yardage. The offense on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and three. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. A throw here right side line falls incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
fielded at about the 28. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Bears take over. Look at DJ Chark as he and the rest of the offense head back out. But he's within shouting distance of a thousand yard season. Gonna need a pretty good finish though if he wants to reach that mark. I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week in practice, and, and look, ask for the ball all the time anyway. He's rarely going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. On second down, Dobbs. His throw in complete. We know Charles are good for this defense. Look, it's no secret you're facing a team that is really, really, really strong. You know, one of them that seems like forever, but sometimes a desperate team can be a dangerous team, right? You're exactly right about that, but they shouldn't be. And they're on the top of a losing streak. It's incumbent upon you to take charge of this game over right? and not give them any reason to hope. Get out of the tackle and make sure you're not going back on that box. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. To return is Roberts. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Browns will take over in first and 10. The Reds gains our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And the ball tried to fit it on the slant, and it's intercepted. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And take possession already in the red zone. And in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And granted, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They put they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll go up the middle with White. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And a tackle there by Quan Alexander. Here's second and 10. They keep it on the ground. Right again. White will reach the five-yard line before going out. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Looking middle, and that's complete. Three yards is the game on time. Second and more. To throw a good catch, but I really like the run of the drag. And being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or better against man. Because how do you run away from someone? And you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they really like to make the short field. And they want to see if they can, but this is the running game. Defensively, a huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. Now, a field down comes up in Pinheiro. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game, and they make it hurt a little bit extra with the field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen go out there, guys, and don't want to put some points on the board. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. 
Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Penny out the middle. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of his first half of action. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now a third and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is snapped to the ground. And the down and the ground is inside the field. Well, that's one way to come out of third down, picking up 26 yards. That's well executed there on third down. I love the confidence of the left. To let their tight end try to find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QB has loved to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Mahomes now on first down. He'll get this underneath to Edmonds. He's taking a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down in the yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he fires one incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him, and he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you in the back end. And even though it's an incompletion error, I think they're going back to that well. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive, stalled out here. How about give credit to the secondary partner? Never gave up as they gave up. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. It's grabbed over the middle by Wright. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Dallas Miller in the call for it. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. He'll get that out to the flat to win. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here for Dobbs Dallas taken in by a conqueror. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish. As it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. Sports. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half. Ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things go well in the possible comeback because I thought a lot of the best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them, and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now. He had to fight for every yard, but now he shook himself in the and kept the rest of the defense closing in on him. He forgot to every take it every single time. And from the left sideline, falls incomplete. Following the play here, now we've got an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here comes the Bears punter now. Because he'll come on to kick this one away. Here now Roberts. 45 yards. That's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. This offense and John o. Smith getting set to begin another possession. You look at the numbers for him and 1,000 yards, obviously well within his sights, barring injury. He will get there. The question, will he get there in this game? Well, he would love to. Of course he will. But you know, watching him play this year, we often talk about defenses, you know, allocating extra resources, trying to stop the guy when they have up, right? But you know what else kicks in? His pride to say, okay, I don't care how many you throw in my direction, I'm still going to find a way to get off the power to use different rooms. And if he gets formation, I will come underneath the rooms and try to walk through some people. He kind of got natural takes in the middle because he wants to get that thousand and he doesn't want any less passes to come to his direction. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's caught by Kenny. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throw left side, take it in by Jefferson. And that timeout is whistled as it appears there's a grab and shaken up on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Short throw to Smith, and he's going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there? Pick up the first down in that situation. That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people, pick up the necessary yardage. And he is tackled inside the 39 point to the 35. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He's been terrific here this afternoon. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, those things are called outside of the quarterback, faking it to the runner, and then keeping it himself, and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football, all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football at the triple option, you've actually caught that play. Mullins firing complete. And it's going to have a first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 22 yard line. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this will be caught once again by Brown. Damn, and now before they get inside the 10 to the 7. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that. Why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary. 
figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And he'll take it in the end zone for the Browns to the Taking it in for seven yards on the way. The Browns are able to extend their lead. Sometimes you get a play to board. You're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need. So maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it over the closer range. So this is a ball that's right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. What's good on the extra point? And the lead is up to 18 now. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. The Chicago offense set to get started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball up and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get into more possessions. A gain of three, second down. Back to throw Dobbs. They can put some right side away. And they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. For the shotgun, here's Dobbs. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. Dallas Floyd taking him on track. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line tackled there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. To throw his downs. That's taken in, Dante Ricks. And he's taken down inside the 30. Going right side is White. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Now a second and 10. to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Mahomes now to throw. He's got it and complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 30 before it's taken down. That one goes for 36 yards. And they need to play the 
this year. He's certainly been the guy to deliver it as this season is going on. He's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Here's a give to Penny. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power pull up the middle coming out. And boy, with him right. That defense got down here in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Mahomes for a pretty much Jefferson. And the Alabama's just shy of the 40. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he's able to bring to a run tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Mahomes going to throw. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave it with a second and three. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. They had a short game here down to the 22. And I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. There'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world up to the challenge. After the penalty, it's Penny. That nifty juke there. That's the first time to tackle. And he's going to have the Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Time for the 17 now. Here's a first and 10. Again, it's Penny. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And here's another tackle made at the line, so they're converging well on the football now. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Bears are going to take over at their own 13 yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. On first and ten, Dobbs. And he slides and covers up at the end. This is going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And quickly, they get to the line. There's Dobbs to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Big 
strides, look at him go. Touchdown, Chicago! Chica Kankro, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bears are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. You gotta understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late. That they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. And here is extra play up and good. And it makes the score 21 to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game. The interception that led to a touchdown. You have to think they're a little more careful here if they can get them deep in the entire front football. Yeah, I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw in this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Yeah, that would be an end complete. Well, I'm at the cover with the 
Sun breaking on third down. Die defense. Blanking in the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole on the complete that pass. And this is up and good for the premier. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. A dangerous return man showed it here. And they'll return this with a hard way out of the other side of the field. And that's the time we turn to run zone with the special teams coach. They'll be pushing us next to the Brandon to make sure his guys are introduced to the starting lineups. These guys have such an influence on every game. The unsung heroes, remember, they have their own meetings, their own practice time, heck, their own spot on the bench in order to be ready to play each and every week. They go play action. Now the homes. Man over the left side as well. Pushes him aside at the tail. Lays it up. He's running around the 10 yard line. A big play that time. A catch and run. 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now. Over the river all the season because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball. One that they want to fix immediately. Now try and run for it with Penny. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That gives him 98 yards in this game. And he's going to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. Here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And incomplete, yeah, no, the throw, so he just tossed it away, but that brings up fourth. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. This is good, and that will extend that lead even further. So that's going to be an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance could not be overstated at all. As on both sides, we're staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Bears are off this, ready to get going again. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Here's White. They set up the screen. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On second down, Dobbs. And incomplete on the deep ball. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the run very deep, he stayed in position for that completion and avoiding any risk of play. Dobbs is throwing. Look in the middle of the field and he's got a man to play. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Out of the gun, Dobbs. He'll leave this one for right. From the 48 yard line, here's second and six. Throwing here, Dobbs. Sure throw taken in by Conklo. All three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Dobbs. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And I'll try again here, second and ten. Here's Dobbs to throw. This is right on the screen. And he's dropped right now to 40. Game of three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. That's going to wind up incomplete. That means it's 
just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. But this game's over. Here we go. This is fourth down. Such little time remaining, and this Browns defense stands tall. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and run some clock here with Penny. And they'll get him down after a quick up of eight, second and two. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And a good one here as they'll run the all the way down to the 40 yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. Stings on his feet, and he will have the Browns first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that will be the one to seal a victory. No surprise this offense would be able to convert their current second in the league in first downs, and they pick up one here. Yeah, not a stat that we talked about a heck of a lot, but it's a vital one, and in this case, it's really vital because what does it do? Keeps their defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest. Forest partner, always great to be by your side. And uh, both offenses, both defenses had some moments in this one, but I think you would agree these coaching staffs are also going to have some stuff to clean up on film. Absolutely, partner. Let's face it, any game we get to watch from up here, it's going to be a blast. Do we want to get a real job? Absolutely not. Let's keep watching the NFL all season long. So for the Browns, it's a 10th one of the year now as they move to 10 and 4. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for Chicago, they plummeted down to 3 and 11. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.